Hi, I'm Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach. The question of the day, could I be any more excited? The answer, absolutely not, because I am in the brand new Hurricane 34A. Amazing layout, some great features, some great options, and some great new colors for 2023. We are going to start by opening this baby up and then we are gonna walk through front to back. We're gonna get in the driver's seat. We'll go outside, we'll walk around, open all the bays. We will show you how to set up your Hurricane 34A. But I do wanna take a quick stroll just to show you how much room you have with the wall in. You can get to the dinette. You can work in the kitchen. You can get to the fridge. You can watch TV. You can get into your bath. This is a large bath. You can get to the bedroom and yes, look at that. That's a king size bed you can use with the wall in. What do you say we get these open? What we are going to do here is we put out the slides we are going to take and we are going to walk through Rapid Camp Plus. So you go ahead and you hit extend. We are going to start with your bed slide. Now, remember, when you are putting your slides out, a couple of things need to happen. Your Hurricane 34A needs to be on. The engine is running right now. Your parking brake needs to be set and you need to have your one touch leveling jacks set. Whether you do that automatically, whether you do that manually, make sure your coach is nice and level and we are putting out our bed slide. Now let's go ahead and put out the slide over here with our seating options. You go ahead and you hit extend. Well, we are going through Rapid Camp as this wall goes out. The first button you're gonna see is your home button. This will control your lights, you can check your tank levels, you can check the battery voltage, and you can get a quick look at your auto gen start. If you want more features for your auto gen start, you can do that through the second button down. That looks just like a lightning bolt, and this is where you set all the triggers for your auto gen start. What do you want? Low volts. Do you want your HVAC load? Do you have a quiet time at the campsite you're at? How long do you want it to run? How many times do you want it to start? All that can be dialed in right from here. Want solar? You can get it. This Hurricane comes equipped with the optional 100 uh, watts of solar. Again, that is an option. Just hit go solar. Now you can take a look at your solar charging. It is all integrated right into your Rapid Camp. Plus, you can also connect it to your phone, which we will do here momentarily. The light bulb controls the ideas. No, controls the lights. If you get a light bulb over your head for more to go, we'll drive this Hurricane 34A somewhere and we'll show you how to set it up. You can go anywhere in this. But lights on and off all from here. If there's an arrow by the light, that means you can dim them. The thermometer and fans controls your furnace, controls your air conditioning, and controls your fans. The slide out button is exactly where we were before. That's how you control your slides and your awnings. Now the awning will be locked with the engine running as it is now. We'll go ahead, before we go outside, we'll bring the slides in and we'll turn the engine off so we can put that awning out. And then the last button down is for your settings. This is how you connect to the mobile app. You knock your phone in the sink, you make sure there's no water in it, and then you hit mobile app, you download the app here, and then you can connect. It is just that easy to do. Screen brightness, set your time, cleaning mode, so a lot of great features from Rapid Camp Plus. All right, we are open up. Man, where to start? So much to talk about in here. You know what, let's start with these brand new colors. How about a little fashion in your life? Are you fashion conscious and you want a fashionable motor home? Neat fashion gray. This is our fashion gray decor. The wood you're seeing here is new for 2023. This is called Weathered Cherry. It is a great look and you have so much storage in here. We will open all of our cabinets. The other option you have, it's our luxury collection, charcoal diamond, that's the decor, and the wood is called Coastline Gray. You get the decor and wood that you like in your Hurricane 34A, you can get it in either. Let's start right over here with our seating options. Dream dinette, you can never go wrong with your dream dinette. So many great uses for it. One, we got, we got dinner set up for two right here. Maybe the sun's a little bright like it is now. You do have roller privacy shades, so this is great if you want to take and cut the sunlight out, or if maybe you don't want peepers, right? Or when you're sleeping as well. But roller shades 
block out a lot of that sunlight. You have cup holders in there. You do have wireless charging. And underneath the wireless charging, USB-A and USB-C ports. So you have everything set up right here at your 70-inch dinette. Want to make it into a bed? Flip the handle. Push it down. Move your cushions into place now. You have a place for sleeping. Then in the morning, you simply put the cushions back lock it into place go ahead and have a delicious breakfast take your pillows your whatever it is, stuffed animals sleeping bags you got storage underneath here on each side you have storage you have seat belts in the dinette as well you have a 110 plug underneath and turning to our kitchen campsite kitchen look at all the room in here and look at all the storage you have you have cabinets down below you have one, two, three, four drawers here. You have nice, solid surface countertops. You have sink covers when you need more room. You have a three burner gas cooktop. You do have an oven in the Hurricane, so all your cooking and baking can be done here. And your microwaving can be done right up here in your microwave. Large, large cabinets up here you can store whatever it is you need in here. And what's really nice is at least where I am standing right now in this 34A, when you are just cooking up a storm, look at that, two roof ACs in here. You can go ahead and turn those on and keep those nice, keep you and your passengers nice and cool as you are traveling down the road. We'll go ahead and show you where that generator is and fire it up when we head outside. Working our way back, I love this. I have not seen anything like this in any of our other products, and I just absolutely love this. This looks like a sofa, right? No, it's thrice the theater seating action. Look at this. So you can have three people here, right? And then you pull, and now, look at this. You're, you're, you're kicked back, you're watching TV, you're in front of the fireplace, or maybe you don't want somebody sitting in between you. No, just you two, right? Boom! Flip that down. You have a nice place for the remotes. You do have nice large cup holders up here. I absolutely love this option. If you would like to have a sofa, you can go ahead and option in a 72 inch sofa there. So if you are looking to maximize your sleeping space, maybe you want to go with the sofa. That way you have sleeping area here, sleeping area at the dinette, and you have your drop down overhead bunk. This is gonna give you 500 pounds of capacity. You control it through Rapid Camp Plus. There's a ladder that stores in the back we will show you. It collapses, stores real easy. Now you have a lot of sleeping up front and another seating option I don't want to pass up. Your driver and passenger seat do swivel. There is a pedestal table that goes in between. So now you have seating for all your family members, all your guests. And it gets even better because we are not done yet. As we work our way back, we do have a residential refrigerator in here and your freezer. Your dial in cold, colder, coldest. Keep that ice cream cold. What's the best ice cream in the world? No. You can put your favorite in the comments below. Anything with chocolate and peanut butter cup chunks. That's the best ice cream in the world. We have more cabinet space right up here. We do have our TV and a fireplace. What's nice about this whole setup here is talk about ambience, right? So let's say it's a little chilly and this thing I am telling you kicks out the heat. You just turn it on here and then you go through and you can change the colors of lighting. You can change the brightness and you can change the heat because this is a little space heater, but I'm going to turn that off so I don't cook inside of here. Maybe you have fire going. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're watching a little rom-com, right? And here's what's great. You can binge watch that rom-com or the action movies, whatever it is, because you can hook up a streaming device or a gaming console and connect to the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Now your Hurricane 34A has internet wherever you happen to go. Real easy to set up. You can get a data plan through WineGuard. You can get a data plan through your favorite carrier. You set up your account, your password. There you go. 
you are now a rolling hotspot wherever you happen to be. And if you're at a campground where the Wi-Fi signal is not great, this will actually take and pull in and make that Wi-Fi signal a little boosted a little bit for you. And you can go ahead and use the Wi-Fi extender to get internet, Wi-Fi, whatever it is you need to do. Maybe you're doing a little work and we'll talk about getting some work done or post into the social media sites at the Flipout Dash workstation. As we move back here, got a little cup holder here, right? So if, if you do share, I wanna show you again, cause I like this. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm kind of geeking out. This is actually, this is actually the first time today I've been in a 34A. So you're experiencing all the goodness with me as we work our way through. We do have so much storage to talk about. First though, I want to hit up the bathroom because a, a, a bathroom, as you know, if you've traveled, is very important. A large bathroom, a nice bathroom, a bathroom with a sliding glass door to the shower. Yes, medicine cabinet, sink, and in the back, whoa, look at this storage. Two very large, they use an extra tiles, linen closet, extra soap, foot flush porcelain toilet. You have a macerating system we're going to talk about on this, which is really neat. You have a vent fan in here, skylight over the shower. And in the shower, I want to talk about, you're going to see that little blue covering there. That is the shower miser. And what the shower miser is going to do for you is it is going to take and help save room in your gray tank when you are dry camping because what happens here when we are on the road and we come in and we turn on the shower and we just stand there and we wait and we wait and we wait for the water to get warm and then as we do it runs down the drain fills up our gray tank right with the shower miser you turn the valve now the water is going to recirculate it's not going to come out of your shower head into your gray tank the pipe will turn from this blue color to like a bluish grayish whitish color now you know the water is hot. Boom, crack that. Now you do have hot water flowing wherever you want in your hurricane. Couple of hooks here for towels or robes and even more storage. The storage in this, whew, you ready to spend some time talking storage because we have gobs and gobs of storage in here large closet right here. You have a hanging space there. You have one, two, three drawers here. You have a privacy door right back here. So you can kind of shut off this sleeping area to this sleeping area back here, prepped for a washer and a dryer. You do have hanging rod. You do have adjustable shelving here. You do have everything you need. If you want to go the washer dryer route, the stackable unit, they'll fit right in here. And with all the closet space, you may not need to hang clothes in here. You may want to put the washer and dryer in. Moving right over here, we have a dresser. We have one, two, three, four drawers here. Nice dresser top. You have 110s. You have USB ports. You have a TV up above here with storage behind the TV. Moving over, so much hanging space in here. Look at this. All this. We talked about that ladder up front. That stores right back here. And then down below, one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. So much storage. And you have three more cabinets above this king size bed. And what is great about this 34A, you can use this bed with the wall in. You have 12 volt port over here. You have USB ports in the nightstands, large window back here for natural light. All the room you need in here. 84 inch ceiling height, residential vinyl flooring. Gorgeous, gorgeous motorhome. The Hurricane 34A, you have a wall sconce light. You have speakers right up here for passengers for the ride. How you control the speakers? Up front, because we are going to sit right up front here and we're gonna talk about all the great features you're gonna find in the Hurricane 34A. Whoever gets to drive is in for a treat. First, we're going to start with the power plant. 7.3 liter V8, 335 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque. What do you do with all that power? That's right. You put the hammer down. Six-speed torque shift transmission on this. 
8,000 pound hitch out back, which we can keep an eye on on our center stack. We'll talk more about that. What's nice about this F53 that this Hurricane sits on is when we get it in, we take and have our engineers work with the engineers from Moorride. They upfit it with the true flat floor foundation. That is going to give you a stronger house, more storage, and absolutely a better ride. Dashboard, you know, you have your tack, you have your speedometer, some informational gauges here. You have some trip meters, some maintenance reminders. You can check your battery voltage, the outside temp, and you can control that with the thumb pad on your left. Down below that, cruise control. Over to your right on the thumb pad. I love this feature for 2023. You can pull up the side view cameras or your backup camera at any point just by pressing the camera button. That is so handy to have when you are sitting at an intersection or you're gonna make a lane change or you're gonna turn whatever it is, you can do that with the camera button. You can control your audio from here and you can also control the source from here. Starting just a real quick sweep, cup holders, heated remote mirrors, there's our one touch leveling jacks. You have fog lights, you have an emergency start. So with the emergency start, you can use the power from your house battery to jump start your chassis battery. All you have to do is take hold of the button, turn the key, and then it will draw power from your house batteries and send it into your chassis battery and you have just jump started your hurricane. We do have HVAC controls, a couple of ports down below, a lot of cup holders, plenty of space for everything, and this 10.1 inch touchscreen. Love this. Radio, Sirius XM satellite, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can also press this button here if you want camera. You have Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth audio equalizer some settings and in here you'll see something that says zones that's how you pipe in your tunes to the thrice thrice the theater seating in this 34a over here so a lot of great features up here you have hard buttons down below and one thing i do want to point out is you do not have rv specific navigation on this now before you say oh why not because you want to choose an RV specific navigation app that you like, right? You don't want to be handed one and say, here you go, this is what you have to use. No. With Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can choose any RV specific navigation app that you want. Or if you would like to try one year for free, Road Pass Pro, going to come with the purchase of your Hurricane 34A for one year. Four apps in one Campendium, Road Trippers, RV Village, Togo RV. You do have your RV specific GPS navigation but it's more than that it's a social network you can connect with other people who love to travel as much as you do was this campground good yeah it was great but while you're here you got to go check out that connect with other people make new friends keep in touch it comes with uh, your hurricane for one year it is road pass pro moving over to the passenger side i wanted to talk about your flip out dash workstation as the passenger is here looking out the window and thinking oh you know what i want it i want to catch up on my blog or I want to catch up on some work or I want to stream a movie. It doesn't matter. You're the passenger. You can do what you want. You want to lean back and doze off? You can. But with the flip out dash workstation, you do have two 12 volt outlets. You have a 110 outlet down below and this Hurricane has an 1800 watt inverter. So what that is going to do is it's going to take and turn that DC power, your 12 volt power, into 110 so that outlet will be hot as well as other select outlets throughout your motor home now you're spun around you're getting work done or you know you're just here when the pedestal table is up enjoying a cup of morning coffee so this is the inside of your hurricane 34a what a setup what a great floor plan i can't wait to share around the outside and i am going to just give you a spoiler alert right now when you are loading up and packing up, which you're going to want to put your slides in before you leave, right? This Hurricane right now has the most storage of any Hurricane in the lineup. We will take you through it. We are going to open all the bays. We are going to take and hook up your electric. We are going to hook up your plumbing because we just don't want to show you all the great features of this hurricane we want to show you how to use it so you are prepped when you hit the road so as this goes in notice it makes a little noise there it means the wall is in and again you can use this bed with the bed slide in so as this wall comes in i want to talk about something that can happen you know something falls the remote control or the passenger seat isn't spun around right and you have to stop the wall 
and then you have to restart it. No, you want to, all right, retract. All right, oh, we did it again. All right, pick that up and then retract. So if you do that time and time again, because these are just two motors whose sole function is to go in and out, those may get out of sync. Okay, if that happens and you start to notice this end or this end starts to come in first, all you have to do is quickly resync your motor. So we just retracted the walls. You're going to start on the opposite, which is extend. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. And you kind of heard the wow, wow. That means your motors are synced up and ready to go. Now we put the slides in because we want to open these bays and give you a better perspective. And with the wall in, especially over on this side and all the storage and all the goodies, we can give you better shots. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off our hurricane. I'm going to walk outside and we are going to show you the excitement you are in for in this 34A. I love this thing. You know what, before we dive into storage, I want to talk about how beautiful this is because we've made some changes to the exterior. Brand new Sterling HD Max. This is polar white that you see behind me here. Two colors of HD Max and we have two partial paints. But what's nice about the HD Max is this is the same color fiberglass all the way through. So in the event that it gets a little scratch, it's not going to be a different color. It will be that same color all the way through. And the way we put our slide walls together, or our side walls, and including the slides, I'm going to talk about all that here, is we take the inner wall board, we take our black foam insulation, we take our aluminum frame, and then we take the fiberglass here, and we adhesive that together, we put it into a sleeve, we run it through our lamination machine, we suck out all the air, we let it sit there for about a half an hour, and you have an incredibly durable surface. And the nice thing is, is the slide wall you see on the bedroom there, that actually came out of this piece of fiberglass. So it's not like there's a stockpile of bed slides sitting around. It came out of here, it goes back in here, that way it is a nice square fit. And that is why we can take and put a warranty on these that you won't find anywhere else. 12 year structural, six year lamination, and a one year limited warranty on your hurricane. We use the same vacuum bonding process for our floors and for our roof. And up top, you do have a one piece cross flex roof. It is a synthetic material, a synthetic thermoplastic. It is easy to clean, it is durable, it is puncture resistant, and you are going to love having a nice solid structure up top knowing I don't have to worry about this. Yes, there's maintenance, but it is worry-free. As we walk out, a few things I want to talk about here. The first is going to be our occupant and cargo carrying capacity. On this particular motorhome, we have 4,310 pounds of stuff you can carry. That's a lot of stuff, and look at that length, 36 feet on the dot. A couple more items to note in this door. We do have our inverter. We talked a little bit about the 1800 watt inverter. You turn it on here. You have your battery disconnect switch. As we start up front, talked about our side view cameras. Those are here. And here are your heated remote mirrors that you can, it, this is remote, and then you got to have your driving buddy take and adjust that one for you. We do have a couple of names for this. Some people call it a pet window because people love to travel with their pets. And the old Pucherino can look out the window there and take in the miles, but it's also great as the driver if you are somewhere to see what is sitting right out here if you are going to make a right turn. 22 and a half inch tires on this. That gave us, by upping the tire size, that gave us a, a lot more room to add all the storage you're about to see here. It gives you a better ride. So nice big tires on your 34A. Let's talk a little outdoor entertainment. We're gonna get this baby set up and ready to go. If you wanna watch TV when you're set up at camp, you can, it's right here. It is on a swivel. You can adjust it to your liking. When you're done, you just lock it up. And now you don't have to watch TV. If you don't wanna watch TV, you don't have to. It's there for those who like to watch TV. We do have a large awning up top, and as that goes out with Rapid Camp Plus, that is going to give you a nice shaded area under your hurricane. You do have wind sensors on it, so in the event that it does get a little rocky out, a little bumpy, you experience some turbulence at camp, it will automatically retract, and built into the arms, you do have 
lights. You do have LED lights, which makes a nice night light for you when you are at camp. When you're away from your hurricane, make sure you're bringing that awning in. Nice windows here. If you would like dual pane windows, that is an option. They are top hinged and they open awning style like that. So you get a nice breeze in. And the nice thing about having them open awning style is in the event that it is raining and you still want some ventilation, you can open those and not worry about getting rain inside your hurricane. Do have our exhaust for our furnace and storage bay number one. These are huge. I told you we had the most amount of storage across the hurricane lineup on this floor plan, 140 cubic feet of storage. A little pass through up here, each bay has its own light. They are rotocast, so that's a nice durable material here that is not going to mildew, it's not going to rust or rot. There's a drain plug in here, so in the event you wanna take and throw something muddy or sloppy or dirty in there, easy to hose out and we have a lot of bays to show you on this hurricane such as this one right over here now we do have a fresh water tank here and we'll talk about filling up our 50 gallons of fresh water in just a second but another bay here when you want to drain your tank when you are done you want to empty it there's the valve for that and this is how you fill your fresh water tank again 50 gallons of fresh water you just put your hose in here for potable water there's a little vent when that starts to trickle you know you have all the water you need now it is important to note when you are dry camping you're going to need to turn your water pump on with rapid camp plus when you are hooked into city water which we are going to do on the other side you do not need to turn your water pump on as we move back we have a couple of 110 outlets right here those are gfci so in the event you want to plug something in outside you can do that right here but you do need to be plugged into shore power or have your generator running this bay the old b and b batteries and breakers and a pet tie down here so you run the dog that loves to look out the window also loves to be outside, right? So you run the leash through here, hook it to here, and then out. And now you have your dog staying at camp. And because this bay locks, if you want to take and use that to lock up bikes or whatever, you can go ahead and do that as well. As we work our way back, how about another storage bay? We have a ton of them on here. Yep, another storage bay. We have some pass-through up top. Another storage bay. Another storage bay. I told you this thing is packed and that's just this side. We have more storage on the other side. Last feature I wanna show you over here is our exterior propane connection. We'll talk about propane when we're on the other side, but right here you can plug in a gas fire pit, a gas grill, a gas griddle. Right through there, now you are grilling and barbecuing or whipping up a nice breakfast outside at camp. As we work our way to the backside of our hurricane, Remember the button we pressed on the steering wheel to bring up the backup camera? That's right up top. We have a ladder to do maintenance on our roof. Easy to clean, durable roof, but you do need to do maintenance. And then down below, we have our 8,000 pound hitch, seven pin and a four pin connector when you are towing. What you do is you take your gross combined weight rating. You will find that on ThorMotorCoach.com. You take your gross vehicle weight, you subtract GCWR from GVW, what you have left is how much you can tow behind your hurricane. On the other side, the business end of the hurricane, we're gonna hook up plumbing, talk about the new macerating system we have on this hurricane. And yeah, more storage. So let's head on over here and hook up camp. Getting to camp requires gas. 80 gallons goes in right here. Oh, another storage bay. Yes, I told you there was a ton of storage on here. We got a lot of connections. We're gonna go over each and every one of them. City water connection is right here. You take your potable water hose, the same one you filled up your fresh water tank with. You connect it here, run it over to wherever your city water is. You turn it on and now you have water. Again, when you're connected to city water, you do not need your water pump on. Here, another storage bay. We have a 50 amp detachable cord, which we're gonna plug in right here. I have, I have a sample unit right here. So what you do is you just plug that in and then you twist to lock. 
and then you run over to the campsite, you make sure the breakers are off, you plug into your 50 amps, and then you turn the power on. They'll have a little light up here knowing that you have juice. Now you do have a transfer switch, and what that transfer switch is going to do, it is going to take and determine where the electricity is coming from. Are you getting it from your shore power? Are you getting it from your generator? And then it is going to go throughout your hurricane and give you all the power you need. Cable TV, right up here is where that plugs in. Just coax from here to the campsite. Six gallon hot water heater. Now we talked about the shower miser. When you are heating up your water, you do wanna make sure that your propane is on instead of the electric. Well, you turn them both on. The propane is going to be your main source to heat up your water and the electric is going to keep it capped off. So make sure that your propane is full. We are going to show you how to do that, but electric and propane, propane, your main source, hot water shower miser, you can hose off here or you can hose off out here because we have an exterior shower out here as well as our black tank. We have our gray tank. We have 40 gallons of black. We have 40 gallons of gray water. So many goodies in here. Let's just go ahead and get hooked up. So this is going to screw out. You're going to take your sewer hose this is a brand new hurricane by the way so you will wear gloves when you do this you simply take the bayonet locks you run this through run that to your campsite a couple of things i want to talk about that are important here make sure you're pulling your black tank first then you pull your gray tank if you want to take and give that black tank a good old Scrubbing, you can do that. What you want to do is make sure that you have at least three quarter full tank. Then hold this button down. No more than 30 seconds. It's going to be like a little blender in there. It's going to splash the water all around. It's going to get the sides of your black tank nice and clean. You go ahead, you pull your black handle and you let everything run on out. Then what you do is you take and you hook up a hose to here for your tank flush, you have your black tank closed now. You're gonna want at least half a tank of water, water through here, and then you run that again. Again, no more than 30 seconds. You pull your black handle, you let that run through, and now you have a nice, clean black tank. It's just that easy to use. The macerating system on your Hurricane 34A. Slam latch doors. We have nice slam latch doors. And we have a generator. This is your quiet gas 5,500 watt generator. That's going to come standard. With that running, you can power everything in your Hurricane, including both roof ACs, your microwave, your refrigerator, whatever you need. And you can run this while you are driving to your destination. That way those ACs are running. They're keeping everyone cool. Just make sure that you never set the thermostat more than 10 to 15 degrees below the ambient temperature. Moving up one, another storage bay. I told you there's a ton of storage on this. 140 cubic feet. It tops the hurricane lineup in storage. And we do have our propane tank. We talked a little bit about propane. You're going to want to get that filled, turn that on, and you're going to need that on for the exterior propane connection. You're going to need that on for your furnace, and you're going to need that on for your water heater. That is every bay. That is every detail. That is every nook and cranny of the brand new Hurricane 34A. It's a fantastic floor plan. It's a great way to travel family, friends, pets, wherever you want to go, whoever you want to go with, make it happen in the brand new Hurricane 34A. You want more information? ThorMotorCoach.com. I'm Steve DeVal, and I'll see you next time.